Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is to answer a question I keep getting, and that is how to put MS-DOS on a USB drive. Now, I typically just copy an image to a USB drive and I'm done, but I realize not everybody has one, so this is going to be the really hard way to do it. It's not the only way, but it's a way that I know. So, we're going to We've got our USB drive here. It's a uh, 64 megabyte drive, but I don't usually make the drive as big as 64 megabyte just because for my computer project, it's a little bit too big. So anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is download yourself a MS-DOS boot disk. And you go to this allbootdisk.com webpage here, and they've got some boot disks for you. So, you can download MS-DOS 6.22 and ask where to save it. Now, I'm going to be using DOSBox to do this, and so I need to save it in a certain location for me to be able to find it for DOSBox. So, I'm going to save it in here, and let's just open up that location. As you can see, it came in as DOS 6.22, and that dot in there, we need to get rid of that. So here's the one that I made earlier, and I just took the dot out of it so that it can be uh, mounted correctly. So let's just rename that. Now this, this boot image has everything you need to make a bootable hard drive. Now we need to make our hard drive image. So I made an HD image here. We'll just delete that. So I'm going to show you that I'm making this completely from scratch. So using NASM, which is a, an assembler, I'm going to create an empty file. So let's just create a text document here. We'll call it HD.ASM. Uh, Now, we're going to open that in the text editor, and all we're going to do is type in times 0x0, zero zero, uh, let's go 1, zero, 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 0, so that would be 1 megabyte, and one more 0 would make 16 megabytes. Let me make sure I count that right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that should be 16 megabyte. And then we're going to just put in a value of zero and save that. So what this is going to do is create an empty file that's 16 megabytes full of zeros. Let's just go ahead and exit that. Let's go to the command prompt. And we'll type in NASM HD dot I A S M and we're output. We'll do HD dot I M G. Let's take a look and see if that did that right. So I can find it in here. HD right here. Let's just check on the size properties. So I made a one megabyte disk. Yeah, so let's uh, let's go back to our text document here. Then put it off. And let's put another zero in there. And we'll go back and, okay, now let's check the size here, properties. And you can see that says it's 16 megabyte. So for me, this is the quickest, easiest way to make an empty file. Um, now let's copy this to the same location as our images. So now we've got our DOS 622 boot disk here and our empty hard drive image here. Now, we need a boot DOS box now, but we need to go into the DOS box options. And, you know, I'm kind of expecting people to understand DOS box to an extent. And so I'm not going to be explaining everything that you absolutely have to do. So what we're going to do down here at the very bottom, you see it says auto exec and we're going to put in some mounting instructions. So I'm going to mount a drive to letter H, and it's 
map to C colon DOS, which is where I have saved my images. And then I'm going to go to the H drive and I'm going to do an image mount, the DOS 62 floppy, and then image mount. And when it has no file system like this, you have to put a two and file system none. Now your geometry, you wonder about that. Now this is important. So, well, I mean, you can be off a little. It doesn't seem to make a huge difference, but the 512, 63, and 16 never change, but the last number does. So if you come here to image mount, it'll tell you, this is the DOS box help, tells you how to put it in there. But really simply what you want to do is 512 times 64 times 16. See, it's 63, but it starts at zero, so it's 64. And that gives us a number of uh, 524,288. Now, if you take that number... And let's go 16 million divided by that number. It gives us roughly 30. And that's how I calculate that. So if you did like a 32, you can come in here and, or sorry, a 32 megabyte drive. You come in here, you can figure out what your, uh, that last digit needs to be. And that's where I got the 30 for mounting that drive. So now let's uh, turn on DOSBox. It looks like everything mounted okay. I'm going to just hit, make this full screen. Okay. So, we're going to want to boot from our A drive. Now, I didn't modify the disk at all, so it's going to try to do a, uh, a CD drive and all that, which I don't have. Now we type in F disk, and let's display the partition information. It shows there's nothing on that hard drive. So let's just create a uh, partition, and we'll just create a primary. Uh, let's just use the maximum size, and we're done. Now it's going to reboot. So now we're going to uh, try this again. We're going to boot. So I, I'm just booting from the A drive again. So we've created our partition on that hard drive image. So let's format C colon. And then we're going to type sys. Oh, we had to put in a parameter, C, C colon. System transferred, OK. Now let's turn off DOSBox again. We'll boot it one more time. But this time, we're going to try to boot letter C. And there you go, it's booting MS-DOS. Enter a date, enter a time, you're done. Now, I'm not going to put an auto exact or anything, this is it. Now, if you see I've got an image down below that says CH uh, for the hard drive down below, it's just commented it out with that uh, pound sign, so don't worry about that. Anyway, now we have our image correctly built. I'm going to plug in my USB drive to my computer here. It'll take a minute to mount it. And I use a program called Rufus to write the image. You can see that it shows the device as a 64 megabyte drive. I'm going to select the hard drive image out of C colon DOS. That's the same one that I was working with. bigger the images take a little bit longer but there you go it just created the image on the the drive I just unplugged it and now I'm going to plug it in to my homemade PC here I just moved it over and we'll turn it on and we're gonna let this boot up all right 
see if we can get that where you can see it. And you can see it says starting MS-DOS and it's asking for the, the date and time. And there you go. So that's how you create a bootable USB drive using DOSBox and a floppy image. So, thanks for checking out my video today.